Welcome back to Two Minute Tuesday Rig Videos and we're looking at the Cheb or Cheburaska rig today. This rig was developed in Russia but has now become very popular in the UK and all over Europe. So what is it? Well it is very simple but it is quite genius at the same time. It is a very unique pin and weight system. Now you can get this in all sorts of different size weights. Um, this is just a few of the variations I have in my hand here and obviously different colours as well. There are lots of advantages with using this rig. I would recommend putting a clip on the end of your leader and then by using the clip you can take it off the wire attachment and then you can change the weights really quickly. You can change the size of the weights, you can change the colour, you can change the size of the hooks you want to use, change your baits very quickly. It means there's lots of variety that you can change in your fishing situation. It also lends itself to many different types of retrieve. You can search the water quite quickly, you can fish it like a swim bait, you can fish it a bit slower and you can get this bouncing movement on the bottom. If you look at this underwater video you'll see that actually because of the rounded nature of the weight by imparting some movement into the rod tip you can get the bait to actually bounce up off the, off the riverbed or the lake bed wherever you're fishing. And finally if you want to fish a bit slower you can just drag it a bit like a Carolina rig as well. And because of the fixed weight, you'll find the bites are really, really solid. You'll get a thump when the perch land or pipe picks it up. If we look at this rig here, it has a lot of advantages over a fixed jig head. Because of the hinge you have here on the Cheb rig, it not just only allows for the tail to move and the body to roll as in a jig head, but there's also a freer movement. Now this means you can really play about with the weight of the jig head. You can use a really jig heavy jig head, have it hard on the bottom, get that bouncing movement. You can use a very light jig head and you can use it as a, as, a, as a method to use on the drop. So you can try and entice fish to take it as the bait's dropping down as well. And obviously lots of variations in between. And that's why this method has a lot of popularity now because anglers have been using it and using it in lots of different fishing situations with loads of different baits, not just um, paddle tails, but they're using it with creature baits, stick baits, and it has a lot of versatility. So they're the benefits of it. One slight downside is if you use it in weedy areas, because of the nature of the wire clip and the roundedness of the ball, it will pick up a lot of weed if it's very weedy. So that's where you're probably better off using another method like the Texas rig. Because of the bullet shape of the weight, it will pull through the weed a bit quicker. But this is ideal for rocky bottoms and for bottoms where there's little weed. Let's put two minutes on the clock and let's see how we rig it. So on check weight there's a clip. So you need to pull the clip out of the weight and you notice actually it has a slightly rounded end at one end. So on these rigs you want to make sure the hook goes on the rounded part. Now you need a ideally a large eye offset hook. This isn't a large eye, this is a standard one but I'll show you with a standard but ideally you want a large eye. Make sure the hook sits there on the rounded part. So by working your way back around the wire you can work out how it needs to go onto the start of the clip. And as you can see it's fairly straightforward. Now the next bit you need to get correct is there's normally a larger slit in one side of the cheb and a thinner slit in the other side. So obviously the thin side wants to go through the large side first and also if you look carefully the slit is not, it's offset, it's not centered, so this slit is slightly nearer the top and the back is nearer the top, so that's the way it wants to sit in the water, so the majority of the weight is underneath, so you want to make it so you put the clip the correct way, so in other words it sits like that on the bottom. If I put the hook the other way it would have sat that way and it would have, it would have caught more debris because the clip would have been facing down, so have it so the majority of the weight of the Cheb weight is under the clip and that way you'll get free movement of the bait. So once you've got that part set up the rest is really straightforward. You can attach this end using a, you could use a Panama or you could use a double grinner. And there we go and then that will work along the bottom of the lake, river, wherever you're fishing, like so. Because we're using an offset hook, some of you may want to know how to rig your baits. So this is exactly the same for uh, any offset hook, and it's the same if you're using a worm, creature bait, or whatever bait you're using. With an offset hook, 
it's this part here that's important to note and that is how far in you take the bait uh, the hook onto the bait so if I'm using this bait here I'm just going to put the hook through the middle just pull the hook approximately the same distance as that neck is and run the hook down to where I want it to go like so and then you marry up the hook to the bait and you can work out where you need to put the hook through to get the correct presentation like so and once you've done it a few hundred times it is very simple now what I like to do is have it so it's um, so the hook is disguised into the bait so there I have just pulled the point into the plastic so when I'm putting the chub weight through any debris or rocks or stones on the bottom the hook point doesn't catch it stays in the bait and then when your perch picks up the bait you can then strike the hook out of the plastic into the fish like so so that's a really good way of keeping the hook sharp and also keeping debris off the hook and that's how you do it